Hello friends and welcome back to How to Make It with Lily. Today we're going shopping at my local Dollar Tree store to see what's going on with the new Halloween items of 2023. Let's get started. I'm going to start from the bottom of the section and try to work myself up. These are just the beginning of the items that they were putting up for this season. So let's see here. We have the witch with the cauldron wooden cut out that we had last year as well. However, this one is much larger. And then over here we have the ghost. Wonderful projects you can do with this is you can tear it up again and put them in different directions. Paint them and put a stake in it and put it in the yard. Here's the pumpkin. Oh, here we have the witch with the cauldron from last year. And then we have the witch with the cauldron from this year. You can see quite a bit of a size difference for $1.25. Very good. So they're upping on their sizes on some of the products and the sizes or the designs that they used to have. Over here we have some wonderful items you can DIY. Here are the masks that they have, typically speaking, or you can use it as yard decorations and then we have the eek wreath decorations you can do great diy ideas over here the day of the dead i did a day of the dead skull if you are interested in seeing that i have the videos in my playlist i love these laser cut details great diys you can pull off with those as well and then in the bottom section we have the typical ones we had last year. Love this design. Love, love it. And then over here we have Frankenstein's wife. And then down over here I spotted the houses that they typically have available. However, these were much, much larger. So I did a haunted village centerpiece last year and the houses were literally half the size of this probably, but for $1.25, yep, they're scaling it up. So over here, we have some of the typical stuff we already knew about. And then over here, we have additional picks. The mesh tubes are always great prices here and you get quite a bit for the price. We have the felt stickers. These are great if you want to do like a boo basket for your neighbors or your friends. I love to throw these in for the kiddos with some coloring books. Wonderful ones here. And the ribbon transfers, you cannot go wrong with these. There's so many DIYs you can do with it. As a matter of fact, I have done that as well. I have plenty of things to basically share with you my playlist these gnomes this year oh my goodness are cracking me up they're so adorable look at these we have some in different variations with designs as well which is great and then the witch's hat pick great over here we have the witch's hat wreath if you want to know how to make a wreath i have a video tutorial on that as well now we have some glass bottles and these are just smaller bottles but it has the labels on it which is nice to have and then we have laboratory flasks if you're doing a mad scientist kind of a theme these are very cute and new for this year it's their uh, leaf hangers with some designs we have the bats the skeletons very good over here we have some picks. I'm trying to reach to the upper part of the shelving and I'm vertically challenged so <laughs> trying to do whatever I can. So we have some of the gnomes over here as an option for picks. And then we have a witch's hat pick. That's a great item for a wreath again with some other projects. And then we have candy corn pumpkin picks. That's cute. Let's see what else I can reach up over here. And then a candy corn pick itself. So very nice. Nicely done. And that's a decent size. 
Here's what I was trying to reach up the camera. And then over Sorry. here we have the glitter ball picks, which were some items that we had last year. Let's see if I can grab that too. So you have an option to do the purple with the black as well as the orange with the black. And then we have some of these brush trees. Very nice. A good size too in comparison to the ones from last year. I'm just gonna show you what I was trying to pull out but I can't pull everything up but there you go. And then we have some decorative foam bones. Very good. You can make wreaths from that too. These I thought were nice. It's a headband craft kit. So you have like this I think it's a wizard theme and then you have a few other designs to pick from so this is a pumpkin theme and then this one is the black cat and down below these were just foam craft kits again a great item to throw in <clears throat> excuse me to throw into some boo baskets for the kiddos I know some teachers like to do these projects at school as well. Some daycares will pick some of these things up. That's so cute, the skeleton. And then we have the pumpkin over here. Now these items were super new this year and I loved it. So they come already made for you. And all you have to do is stick it in a wreath. And it says that it fits a 14 inch wreath. So you have your pick of Frankenstein, the ghost. Look at this. How cute is that? It's already made for you. You just put it in a wreath. And then we have the skeleton. Look at that. Very cute. Oh, and these plate craft kits. Oh my goodness, they have the witch, and then the flying witch, the haunted mansion, and the ghost. <laughs> That's very cute. That's another great thing to do for daycares or kindergarten. We have some eyeball picks here, and then tree toppers. We have the crow, the black cat, and the bat. Over here we have some tinsel. The purple tinsel looks like has spiders. The white ones have the ghost. And then the silver is the skull. And the black one seems to be spiders as well. These were super cute. Somebody had some random flowers sitting in here. But these are tree cards. Hocus Pocus, that's my favorite. My second favorite is I put a spell on you. And then trick or treat. And then the black one. And we have some trees down below here. And these were new that I didn't see before. But the second I saw this, I thought to myself, bubbles in a cauldron. And they come in iridescent clear, iridescent green, purple, and blue. So you have your pick with that. These signs were here last year. We're going down below over here again with the super big spider. We have a double pack this year to choose from. I don't recall this one from last year. And here's the purple one. And over here we have the black spider that they had last year again. These were new, so I couldn't tell whether this was made out of like clay or cement, but these are faux books that you can actually color to your liking. I would imagine you can do antiquing techniques on these and use it as a collection. You can put stickers on it, whatever you'd like, but these are new and pretty well done. Alright, let's go over to the five and below section. 
Now we have great choices of gnomes. How adorable. They were kind of messy with the glue gun, so you can wipe some of that off, but pretty cute. Look at how many different designs you can choose from. I think they were three bucks. And then here we have more tinsel. But these are wreaths already made, so you can buy some of the eyeball ornaments, put it on there and call it a day. Easy crafting right there. Some yard picks, so we have the witch, the skull, and the pumpkin. Happy Halloween. And these signs were from last year, but they upped it on the scale and put it in the five and below section in the Dollar Tree. These pick your poison signs were much smaller last year as well, and they've upped it on the price. Over here we have some giant, let's see, gals to choose from, the orange and the black. Down below we have a huge spider again, and over here we have pillows. These are new this year. It's Halloween treat bags, but you can easily DIY these and you can make it into throw pillows. So we have the jack-o'-lantern, the black cat, and this was my favorite, poison. Love that one. And then the skull is not bad as well. Very good. Look at that. And these flame, uh, frames are from last year, but there's three designs to choose from. I love the serpent one. Look at that. They're three dollars each. So we have the serpent, the female skeleton, and then the male skeleton. So you can do like a trio of these and make it work for your wall. Very well done. Let's see what else we got. The giant webs. Anybody use these giant webs? Do they hold up for the season or the month of October? Comment down below and let me know. And then these inflatables are new this year. And so are these LED um, candlesticks. You just need to plug in some batteries, but that's pretty much it. And this is a LED projector, shadow projector. You need to plug in the batteries again. It does not come with batteries. That's a new one. These owls, I thought, were just a waste of money because they were not nicely done. They were messy with the glue gun. So save up your money. Don't spend the five bucks on these. But these lights back here are pretty new. Let's see if I can get to them. Alright. There are 20 count LED skeleton light sets. Okay. What else we got here? Assorted flame glow. These are cute, very cute, $5 each. So you have your pick of the jack-o'-lantern, the ghost, that's adorable. Here's what he looks like, that's the battery area, and then you have the skull. <laughs> Nicely done. Moving on, over here we have some more pumpkins. These were my favorite. This is the style that I like, and I think it goes very well with this uh, frame designs. So you have the gray pumpkins, and then we have this dark, dark maroon color. Beautiful. I love the black lacing on the top as well. And then we have the deep wine red. Wow, that's beautiful. 
What else we got here? Looks like we have an assortment of plush pumpkins that are tiered. This really gives me nightmare before Christmas vibes, right? Look at that. We have the polka dots with the spider webs. That's a cute combination. And then we have some skulls with crows and kitty cats on top of them. And this is a five feet uh, spider web light kit. I'm not sure if this is going to work all the way, but if you've tried this before, comment down below and let me know. We have an assortment of lights over here again. And here are the pillows that are already made at $5 price points. Over here we have the bleeding candles. These were nicely done. And I like the gold and the black. And over here we have the vampire blood flasks and I noticed that these could bleed green or purple so you can check the top of the candles if you want the green pick up the green or the purple whatever you'd like just wanted to let you know there's two different ones that I saw of those now we have the plush throw blankets for five dollars get that I don't know if you can make it out but the ghosts they have on here are super cute I love these two tiered spider web trays and we have the bat trays as well and the spider so yeah these were wonderful finds and then we also have this tray this is totally giving me Edgar Allan Poe vibes but it's nicely done and it's quite sturdy the tiered trays you can do so much with that over here we have more bleeding skull candles. We have the black that bleed red and then we have the white that bleed red. And here we have miniature figurines which you can do a garden or you can make a haunted village and put assortments of these in there. They're five dollars per kit but you get plenty of figurines in there in my opinion. So it's a good price for that price point. These were new, so these are metal signs that they brought in this year. Spooktacular, that's cute. And then we have these ones over here. Be our ghost. <laughs> that's cute. And then over here we have some pom-pom garlands. I love the color combinations in here and the designs. You don't even have to DIY it unless you want to. <clears throat> and over here we have some doormats. So they gave us plenty to choose from. We have the Beware. I like this one. Your Neighborhood Fortune Tella. A Divine Nights Awaits. And home sweet haunted home. Do you know in the state of New York you have to disclose if your home is haunted or they can come after you. The buyers could come after you for it. <laughs> and then we have enter if you dare. I could easily see some of these doormats actually being DIYs for wall art where you can put it in a large frame and call it a day. Bravo Dollar Tree, they did a good job again. Alright friends, thank you all so much for watching. Comment down below and let me know what type of videos do you like to watch. Do you like to do shop with me, hauls, cooking, cleaning, organization, or anything else in between? I can pretty much do it all, but I want to hear it from you. And if you like this channel, please go ahead and subscribe, hit the notification bell, give me a like, and share it with a family or a friend. All these actions help to support this channel. We'll see you back again soon. Take care.